Hello my friends, um, come back with uh, some news, a new review for you and this time uh, a very, uh, very interesting uh, subject the new Airfix 148 scale Blackburn Buccaneer S2CD variant um, first thing that, that I can see uh, and I can say to you is that uh, we have a beautiful box art I think this box art is made by Adam Toby, uh, that is the guy that has uh, signed the, the box art for, for the last year fix release. So we have a, a, a very cool scene from a um, Blackburn Buccaneer uh, fly passing over a, a, a British aircraft carrier. You can see also. Uh, Wessex uh, chopper on the background. It's very, very interesting scene, very well done, very well worked on, on the scene. And the box arts from Airfix is, is really coming with nice surprise, with beautiful scenes. And we can cut this box uh, top and made uh, a nice uh, uh, portrait to, to place on Orman Cave. So let's start to see what coming inside. I will open the box and start the video with the box open. So let's go, let's open the box. I already uh, retired all the, the part trees from the, the plastic bags that it coming in to a easy working to not make the video so long so we have all the parts uh, already out of the these bags first of all we have the instruction sheet that uh, we know in the new rfx release it come in a 3d designed uh, instructions step by step we can see this is very very well done very well presented uh, on the first page, we have some difference about the armament to be used on each one of the versions and markings and paint schemes uh, presented on this kit, okay? So, we go ahead and something very interesting is for each one of the schemes, the paint schemes presented on this kit, we have different points to be uh, placed the armament and to, be, uh, to make rolls uh to, to to place the armament so it's very important to check this uh, and to choose this the, the the paint scam that you do, do on the start of the build okay well all the instruction sheet as i i, I told you present nice the uh, drawings nice uh, details on how to proceed with the the steps okay here it starts the building properly, okay, and all 3D design parts are present, all the details for application of the decals on the cockpit parts, and this is uh, the, 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 the style of all the instruction sheets. The nose section, a very well detailed nose section interior, it comes with ladder for pilots, it's a nice addition, nice this detail. One of the engine is coming with the tails. I will show you the parts. And to not be too much uh, long this video, let's go ahead. Here we have the 3D design of the uh, full builded model, how it, uh, it appears. And let's go ahead. We have a A3 sized sheet um, for the paint scams. We have the this A paint scam, B for AMS, AGMS Hermes in 1969. We have this C variant for a Royal Naval Air Station losing mode in Scotland in 1970 for a number 1809 Naval Air Squadron. 
and we have the D variant uh, Blackburn Buccaneer S2C from 8-03 Naval Air Squadron, also from Lozimov, uh, Scotland, 1969. Okay, remember that you have to choose the the variant that you represent on your model on the start of the build to to the correct pro, uh, uh, position of the pylons and armament and it is explaining on the first page of the of the instructions okay let's talk about a, a great and long problem from uh, airfix the decals and um, airfix always have uh, problems with the hair decals it's not a teen it's very complicated to apply, to apply on the models, but looks like this these new sheets from the, his new releases looks so much better, and and the film looks like a, a thin one, and maybe it's a, a great uh, step up for the the Airfix new new release for this new moment of the the British uh, model maker. So looks very interesting to me looks like a good decals i i don't feel uh, any any kind of raised surface uh so looks like a a, a, a thin uh, film and easy for application yeah, but uh, is is very important to to prepare the model for this with a nice coat of a, a, a gloss varnish to 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 a easy application of the decals okay we also have the stencils application sheet where this is common for all the, the variants present on the box. I really don't like this camouflage from the Royal Navy. I really prefer the lizard scam from the Royal Air Force. And as this is a aircraft that uh, has, uh, 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 after the, the, the operation with, uh, with uh, Royal Navy, it's as part of the Royal Air Force also. Maybe I can get some aftermarket decals to make their, their area F1. Let's go for the parts. I'll, I'll stop the video now and back with just with the the, the trees over the, the table to show you all the details, okay? Okay, let's start with the fuselage uh, and nose section trees parts that also come with some parts for the uh, air brakes and for cockpit parts also. This is very interesting uh, uh, parts. Uh, this is the A tree and we have some cool things to, to show here. First of all, the first thing that caught my attention on this uh, model kit is the quality of the details on the bomb bay, as you can see here. It's a very detailed part. Also, the aircraft is all resisted by the lines, as you can see here. And it's something very cool to see that uh, um, Airfix uh, have a nice step up also in this detail because the old models have uh, resisted panel lines too much deep and too large, too wide, and this is very problematic uh, uh, when you want to create some kind of uh, effects like you use the wash, it's uh, become uh, uh, excessive uh, 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 on the model. Now it looks to be more balanced and will look very, very good when we did this kind of uh, effects okay also let me show you the details here on the air brakes you can see here also the nose the tail section it's really nice parts and cockpit here we have some parts for the cockpit.
can see the uh, trees for the wings. This is the sea uh, trees. Uh, and we have the, the wings, uh, we have flaps, we have some uh, uh, folding wings uh, uh, parts, uh, and also the horizontal stabilizers uh, are present on this, on this uh, tree. Okay, we can see the details of the injection on the wings, and you can see the rivets very, very well detailed. A really nice job from the designers on the on the airfix. Here, the horizontal stabilizer also. Folding wings, parts. It's very interesting, very well done. Let's go ahead. Well, here we have the the B tree. Uh, with parts for uh, engines, uh, air intakes, and some details like uh, the the wing uh, uh, tanks. So we have the one of the parts of the engine is just one calm detail, just one side. Okay, we can cut the the fuselage part to show these details. Okay, in one side of the of the, the fuselage of the aircraft. Here you can see the nice details on the wing uh, tanks and on the, the also on the, the tail section. Okay, this is the details for the engines air intakes. Here we have pilots, something traditional on the airfix models and another part for the cockpit as you can see here This is the D3, it's the larger one on the, the box, and this is the, the tree for the armament and the pylons. And we have some cool things here. First of all, we have two different uh, types of the Martel Michel, uh, the anti-radiation one here, okay? And the anti-ship one here, okay? And also we have the uh, uh, very traditional Royal Air Force and Royal Navy uh, retarded bombs here. And we have also the parts for the, the wing tanks, okay? Um, the drop tanks uh, and the pylons. The details on the armament are very, very nice, also on the pylons, as you can see. It's something really, really well done. So we have uh, different kinds of armament to choose on our build. Um, it's very interesting to check the reference to make uh, the correct one. The, the instruction sheet from, from Airfix also brings some information for this. So uh, take a look on this before to choose which kind of armament to place on the, the variant that you choose to represent on your model, okay? Let's go ahead. Okay. Uh, here we have the E sprue, okay, with uh, parts for the bomb bay uh, doors, also for other uh, other pylons and wing tanks, and also another option for armament, also the traditional uh, British uh, aircraft. Uh, uh, armament, uh, the, the rocket launcher Matra 155. Uh, this is very, very interesting, very well done. Uh, remember that uh, in most of the case, this is the 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 the, uh, the parts from the the nose of the rocket launcher are are closed and not appears this 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 way. But you can check your reference. 
anyway this is very nice detail here the parts where the arresting rook is placed also another great job uh, a mix of uh, riveting and, and re resisted pine lines here it's really also something cool from airfix okay let's go ahead here is the g3 with parts also for cockpit as you can see here okay the cockpit instrument panels also the parts for the eject seats very nice detailed also something very important to me the landing gears okay the wheels all very detailed okay landing gear doors it's incredible the details inside the landing gear doors really a great job from the designers of earth fix and if, if it have to be say here this is something very interesting very cool very nicely detailed cockpit cover and small parts for assemble the seats like ejection seat holds it's a very nice detailing model but not uh, not finished yet uh, we have more parts let's go this is the last uh, uh, tree with uh, gray parts and this is something very interesting to show you the the most uh, interesting thing here is that uh, airfix place in the box the fod covers for the air intakes and for the engines as you can see here and it will bring a nice a nice detail uh, a very cool realism for the model it's something that other companies can think for the for your release because it's something very cool to represent in my opinion yeah so this is a nice addition also here you can see uh, um, a template for use to cut uh, the, the the fuselage where you will show the details of the engine uh, you remember that i told in the, the start of the video that one of the engines come detailed and we can show this so you use this part to make as a template and to cut the fuselage part to show this okay and here we have the part with details inside and outside to show this the assessed ladder for the pilots and the small parts on this excellent uh, sheet uh, this is excellent um, uh, tree from the airfix at least we have the uh, something very important and maybe one of the most important things on a model because something that become the, 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 the great part of your work good or not so for me the crystal parts so the transparent parts are something very important that you have to analyze with uh, some care we always have a problem with uh, um, airfix crystal parts in the past because it's very um, not so clear not so transparent and we have some difficult to, to achieve a nice result but it looks like they are starting to, to to resolve this problem as you can see the clear parts are really clear okay it comes inside the two bags and also have some marks over the surface of the clear parts that uh, we have to polish so this is something maybe have uh, problems when they pack at this so it's something that uh, our fix should take care okay because inside the, the, the box, the, this is this come very, very well protected. So this is not to happen inside of the, 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 the box. So it's something to take care for the future and uh, of our fixed release. But the parts looks very nice. Uh, also the, the canopies, also the windshield parts, 
as you can see and other details like lights formation lights and small details that come in this uh, interesting that uh, wing tips come also in um, in clear parts to to represent the uh, the formation lights on the on the tip of this part it's very interesting something cool and um overall it's a uh, nice nice parts just these marks here um it is a, 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 a little complicated to to see on a new kit so should take more care on the packing well this is the what come inside the box let me get the things here to less consideration well guys uh, what can i say about this new release it's a very beautiful model very well detailed um, for sure something that uh, calls attention over the table in uh, a model show or a contest this this is something that i really step up i have the older uh, Buccaneer, the plastic is different, the quality of the plastic is different, the, the, the quality of the injection is something uh, far, far uh, superior on this new release, and uh, Airfix have uh, resolved us, uh, most of the problems that have in the past with their models, like uh, the, the resisted uh, panel lines quality, like the quality of the cows, of uh, the tails over the surface, and something, uh, this, this model really worth the money that we spent on this. I would like to, to say thank you for watching this. This review is uh, sponsored by lookmodel.com. So if you want to get your, goes to uh, lookmodel.com website and get to this. We have now uh, a stock in UK, also in USA. So we have uh, the possibility to, to buy your model and have this in your hands uh, quickly with this new service from Look Model, operated operating not just from Hong Kong but also from USA and also from uh, UK and for some uh, uh, other uh, products also from Malaysia. So we have this comfort on the, the make your order on Look Model. Thanks for watching. I uh, see you soon. We back. Uh, so we have done, uh, we'll do the, the, the review of the Model Collect B2A Spirit and also from ICM uh, OV10 uh, models. The, the, the box come two models, OVT, OVD10D uh, and the, the, the one for you that was used on the Desert Store. Okay, thanks for watching guys, see you soon.